Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be making a raglan sweater. So I follow a crocheter slash knitter slash all rounder on social media called It's Erin B. I think I've mentioned her before in one of my videos, but some time ago she made this top down scrappy yarn sweater and I absolutely fell in love with it. After having a look on her Instagram, I seen that she made this like pink rainbow version and I fell in love with that too. And I wanna recreate that for myself today. So that's what we're gonna be doing. She has a video on how to make the raglan scrappy version, but this is like a different style. It sort of tapers in in the arm. Um, it's not cropped. I'm pretty sure I think it's like a long version. I really can't remember, but I couldn't find any videos on her making the rainbow one or like how to make that. So we're gonna have to make it up as we go. Um, I'm really looking forward to it though. I cannot wait. I think it's like the prettiest sweater I've seen so far, raglan style anyways. I do like her scrappy one, but I don't have like a lot of scrap yarn and I'm sort of saving my stash for like a bigger scrap project instead. So yeah, let's go yarn shopping. So I went to Hobbycraft to get the yarn that I wanted. I had a look on their website and I seen this one here and it is so pretty, but I wanted to see it in store before getting it. Um, just to make sure I liked it, I, I like the feel of it, stuff like that. But when I went, they didn't have any. So I done a click and collect order. Um, it said it was gonna be an R. So I went after the R and they didn't have any. They give me a different color which was fine. I said I didn't want it. I got a refund, no big deal. But then I checked a different store and they said they had 13 available. So I drove all the way there to get this yarn that I wanted. And when I got there, the shop floor was empty. They didn't have any. So I went to a um, person who works there, just a little lady working there. And she went into the back and got me the yarn that I needed. So... This is the yarn that we're going to be using. It is so cute and so colorful. It's sort of similar to hers, but not exactly. It is 80% acrylic, 20% wool, and it's really soft. Um, Even though it's 80% acrylic, it doesn't really feel like it at all. It does say here to use a four millimeter hook. And I'm just going to quickly check what Erin says to use in the tutorial. In the video, Erin says to use a 6.5 millimeter hook. The yarn that she's using looks quite chunky compared to mine. Um, it doesn't actually say the weight of this here. Oh, it's just DK. So yeah, mine's is just DK. On the back of it here, it says to use a four millimeter hook. So I'm gonna upscale to a five millimeter hook. I think that's like a good in between. Um, and it is sizing up from what the yarn says to use. So yeah, let's go. This video is just all over the place. I'm not making any sense. So in the tutorial, Erin does 68 chains to make her chain neck thing. So, so, so she does 68 chains and that's what we're going to start with. I think we might have to do a bit more because I said she's using chunky yarn and we're using DK yarn. So yeah. Where is the beginning? In the beginning. Okay, so I have the 68 stitches and I'm just going to check to see if maybe that will fit. Um, so she says just to slip stitch to your first chain. Um, how do I do this? <laughs> there we go. I'm going to do just one chain to sort of secure it. 
Let's see if this fits. Okay, so it can fit over my head, but it's not as loose as I want it to be. Um, hers kind of drapes on her shoulders and I want to see if I can get that effect as well. So I'm going to change some more and we'll see how it goes. have a spot right here but uh, I finished it I finished it me me I finished it look oh. it's amazing it is so amazing I can't wait to share it <laughs> this is, I think is the best thing I've ever made I'm also on my knees on the stairs. I just thought it would be a good idea for the reveal because I made this. here I'm gonna sit back here it is so good I'm gonna hop up a bit how cute hey, I did this I'm so impressed with myself I'm so happy <laughs> and okay I'll show the back as well so as you can see I haven't weaved in all the ends I just need to tidy it up in certain places and I also love the way it does that it like has the like two different sides to it. It's almost like warm and cold, even though it's like a very warm sunset piece. I mean, the yarn is literally called Sundown Yarn. So I just can't believe I did it. I have attempted to make clothes before and it's just never really worked out for me. And this one did and I love it. I'm literally gonna wear it like tonight with my friend Cluda. I'm so excited. I hope she likes it. She will like it. It's Cluda. But yeah, look, see, I still have some strings, like, detached, and I really don't care. I love this so much. 
I freaking love it and I made it. <laughs> it is such, it is just the perfect length for me. I'm so happy with how it fits. Yeah, um, highly suggest if you've never made one of these before, definitely make one. I plan on making more just because I love this so much. I really, really do. I am obsessed. I'm so obsessed. I just, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching the video to this far to see this beautiful piece that I made. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Or if you even just like this. 